Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Justin Bamberg. Myself, along with Will Lewis, our counsel for uh, Miss Becky Hill, the Colleton County Clerk of Court. Uh, today will be brief, but today's important. Um, obviously, over the last few months, uh, Miss Hill has really wanted to address her constituents. Um, obviously, with things that were going on, um, she has certain rights and, and she's got to uh, protect herself, most of which came under the advice of counsel. Um, and that, I think, has been lost on a lot of people with everything that's been going on, is that as clerk of court, uh, you do have a constituency, the residents here in Carlton County. And today could have occurred uh, hiding behind a computer screen or hiding behind her lawyers. And uh, Ms. Hill was committed to that not happening. Um, and I stand with her and I also respect her very much uh, for being here today. Uh, so without further ado, I'll turn the floor over to Ms. Becky Hill. Good morning, everyone. It has been my honor and pleasure to serve as your Colleton County Clerk of Court over these past four years. The Clerk's Office has provided many services to the, to the citizens of Colleton County. The Colleton County Clerk's Office is proud of our services and the significant impacts we have made in the history of South Carolina. Here at the Colleton County Courthouse, you will find a full service passport office with certified agents ready to help you as well as notary services and e-filing that has streamlined our civil processes. Another significant impact in our clerk's office was in 2023 when we had to manage one of the biggest trials in South Carolina history. Our small town came together and made everyone proud. Managing a trial was such importance to the people of South Carolina, as well as of the national and international media interest and public scrutiny and has caused me to reflect upon decisions involving my stay in the office of the clerk of court. And so after much reflection, I have decided that it is best not to run again for re-election. I will now be able to focus on being a wife, a mother, and grandmother to my two grandboys, and will be spending time with the people who mean the most to me. With the upcoming election, I wanted to ensure that I provided ample time for other Republican candidates who may be interested in pursuing this position. I want to publicly thank all of the citizens of Colleton County who voted for me, who have supported me, and who have stood by me. I also want to take just a moment to extend heartfelt condolences to the family and friends of a very, very kind, professional educator here in Colleton County who has departed this life and gone on to the other life that she has. And that is the family of Debbie Price. And so today I just want to take a few seconds of silence just to remember her and her family and friends. I also want to thank my amazing staff who work in the clerk of court's office for the wonderful job that they have done and that they will continue to do. We are fortunate to have strong leadership within our office and I am proud to say that our clerk's office will seamlessly move forward. I look forward to all of the future holds and will finally remember the true amazing friendships that I have made while serving the incredible people of Colleton County. And so, as we fix our eyes forward, I would like to announce also that my resignation as clerk of court will be effective immediately. Thank you. Um, ladies and gentlemen, um, I do have in my hand uh, a signed copy of Ms. Hill's official resignation. Uh, that will be forwarded to the uh, governor's office, uh, Governor Henry McMaster's office uh, later today. Um, I've served in the South Carolina State House for over a decade now. Uh, when we run as elected officials in this state, we run publicly. Um, our lives become public. We serve publicly. And it's only fitting, and, and I respect Ms. Hill very much, uh, that the conclusion of her service also happens publicly. Um, 
I'll be taking a couple of questions, but I do want to say one thing because I know that there are speculation and rumors. Well, having lived in small town South Carolina my entire life, I can see where people's minds may run after an announcement such as this. So let me be extremely clear. Today is not in response whatsoever to anything going on with any investigation or, or anything of that nature. Okay, and I'm going to say that one more time. Today is not in response to any new development of some investigation or anything like that. Uh, today is about the people of Colleton County. Uh, there is still another week um, available for filing for the clerk of court's office. Um, and it is what it is. Uh, if Miss Hill had stayed in office, um, the people of Collison County would be the ones who uh, get distracted to a certain degree uh, because there are a number of candidates running for clerk of court. Uh, those candidates have different things that they, different platforms that they want to campaign on. Um, and it would be inevitable that if Becky was still serving while those candidates were campaigning, um, every time they mention something, every time there's an article, every time there's a forum and candidates are discussing uh, the future that they seek to create for uh, the courthouse behind us, uh, there will be a degree of a cloud over that because it will be talking about the city clerk, etc. So this decision was made wholeheartedly by Ms. Hill uh, for the benefit uh, and, and to the benefit of the citizens of Collison County. Uh, we will not address any investigation stuff, whether it be sled or state ethics or anything like that. Uh, so please, I know it's tough. I can see some of the faces out there. No questions about any of that. Uh, if you do ask, I'm going to dodge it uh, because we're not going to comment on that. We're not going to detract uh, from, the, from the positive nature of today, the bittersweet positive nature of today uh, with that. So with that said, um, I would like to acknowledge behind us faithful members of the clerk of court's office. Uh, these are dedicated employees to the people of Colleton County, um, and we want to thank them for everything that they uh, have been doing, everything that they will continue to do, uh, so that we can continue to make Colleton County as great uh, as it is. Uh, so with that said, happy to take any questions. Justin, obviously we haven't talked to you guys since January. Justice Toll said what she said during that hearing up in Columbia. I'm just wondering, like, your response to that publicly? Um, I mean, I, we respect Justice Toll, and uh, she is a, a longtime jurist in this state. I don't think you'll find any lawyer that doesn't respect her, um, and we respect her decision in court. Uh, we respect her review of things. And uh, the comments that she made, uh, she is former Chief Justice told. So, uh, so at present, uh, with the resignation of Ms. Hill, uh, the deputy clerk will uh, step in immediately to, to effectively run the clerk's office. Um, and we anticipate that at some point in the immediate future, Governor McMaster uh, may appoint a formal clerk of court. Uh, to step in and actually be uh, formally in charge. But for right now, uh, and that's one thing uh, that, that took some timeline and everything up to make sure uh, that with this decision, the clerk's office could continue to run effectively, efficiently uh, for litigants and for the citizens. So uh, there will be no gaps in service whatsoever to the people of Collison County. Who is the deputy clerk right now? Gary Hale, Jr. In fact, he's standing right yeah. behind you. Gary, are you running? Are you planning to run for the clerk's office? Um, I'm, <coughs> I'm currently here, and I, I'm on the county's time, and I can't discuss that. Thank you. Becky, what would you say was the deciding factor in announcing your resignation today? Oh, without a doubt, my grandchildren. If you have grandchildren, you know. So you're saying with, your, your resignation had nothing to do at all with the investigation? Yes, sir. What, what, the resignation is strictly about the people of Colleton. Um, and again, we're not going to get into uh, any of the investigation stuff and all that as things are still open. Uh, but the primary and the main focus of 
uh, today is what is in the best interest of the constituency, the, the public. Um, and this ended up being the, the, out of the options that were on the table, for example, uh, just not running again and staying in office through the election, et cetera, uh, like I mentioned earlier, that ran the risk of uh, detracting or impeding the public's ability to uh, get digest information from candidates about what they want to offer. Um, so that's why that's why the decision was made. We'll take one more question. Yes, sir. Um, I believe. I, I would have to double double check, uh, but I believe the governor would have the ability to make an appointment. Um, I don't know that there would be a special election. However, that would not that wouldn't be out of the question. Um, that question would probably be more uh, directed for state ele uh, state election commission. Um, and if there is a special election, of course, uh, that will be announced um, by the the powers that be in the elections office, um, and then folks will campaign and. Uh, the result will be the result, and then you will have your normal election in November. Uh, so thank you all so very much.